We're live with Save by the Dice. Uh, liberation of Dry Dark Lads. Hello, everyone. Can I you am say Jeff. celebration? I <laughs> yes. The, the celebration of uh, murder, I guess. Um, let's go ahead and start from the middle this time. We've got Abby Dalzine. Uh, hello, I'm Claude, and I'm playing Abby Dalzine, the uh, tiefling abjuration wizard who is hiding in a little magical circle that no undead or elementals or gods or, or devils can get into and he's probably going to run away from Tiamat shortly. He's uh, he's just hanging out here with his main squeeze Kasai, hoping to make the world a better place. I will do you with a fork. Uh -huh. Anyway, I am Sterling. I am playing Kasai, the fairy sneaky something or other. Um, and yeah, so, um, that happened, and now we have, uh, Tia Phil that we gotta deal with. Tia Phil, that's where you come in. <laughs> Is that Ravashta? <laughs> the same group? Yeah, that's oh, exactly okay. what Ravashta's cute. <laughs> Strange segue, but yeah. Okay, I'm Jasper, I'm playing King Ravashta Du Venom, the Yuan T Pure Blood Druid. Um, he... He, there's a dragon in front of him, but he just doesn't care. He's gonna walk. He's seen worse. <laughs> Today. Uh, someone else who's that. seen worse with him is Marade. They did that terrible Drist impression. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was rough for a while there. Um, I'm Thea playing Moraine, the Drow Ranger. Um, with her cool swords and her cool skull mask, and she was gonna run down here and uh, check out what her friends were doing, friends in air quotes, but then there was a giant dragon, so she might just turn right around. Yes, I am also coming to you live from the Bahamas. Don't forget about your centaur bones. Very exciting. I also yeah, I do have some centaur bones. They're, I'm gonna become proficient in them. My new musical <laughs> instrument. I'll be a bard. Oh, that was ugly. Hello, everyone. I am Dingleberry Dova, and I am playing Asrak the Raging Fighter. And I am here to kick some, whether it be divine or necromantic ass, I will do it. <laughs> Luckily, there's all manner of ass to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we also have Jerry here tonight because she's going to do some voice work. I am. Hi, it's I'm Jerry, and it's been a while since I've been live uh, in the Broken World. I still play Dabble in the Broken World, but uh, it's been a while since I've been live with you guys in the Broken World. So I hope that uh, I, I do all all manner of good things for the story, and that y'all enjoy. <laughs> no. This world won't be broken for much longer. No fun allowed. You're not allowed to or completely we'll just, destroy you know, it. <laughs> that's, that's break it some okay. more. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, would would anyone like to try to explain exactly how it got to this point? Uh, we went to a rave through its vampires in a blender, and uh, hey, there's Tim. Yeah. <laughs> some of us had some promiscuous outings. It was a great time. Uh huh. Met Asmodeus, it's fun, it's fine. Yeah, we may have ruined Lost Asmodeus. and found plans. Are y'all still doing the uh, trading in dice? Uh, hip viewer no. hit points for that? Oh, okay. We might tonight, we'll see. <laughs> we might need it. Save, <laughs> yes. save us. So. We'll, we'll see how it's going. Save us up. <laughs> uh, buy, me, buy me dice. You know, you, uh, viewers, you have uh, hit points that you accrue just from watching, which can be traded in. For uh, various, various things. Ooh, all the things. Uh, to do that, uh, hit exclamation point items. Right? That's how y'all okay. do it. And uh, uh, y'all can uh, do things uh, that will help or hinder or amuse. Indeed. So. Yes, uh, you guys essentially broke a devil's deal, and the devils were protecting these people. So uh, you enabled a bunch of undead to start harming them, 
and the Devils pretty much pulled up the stakes. But uh, as they were leaving, a very angry five-headed dragon goddess came bursting up out of the ground and does not seem very pleased with you. But she is doing cartwheels, so it's hard to tell. I would just like to say that it was Abby Dalzim that broke the Devils. Thank you. Trust. I don't know why you're saying like that's a bad thing. It's like it was Abby Dalzim who ruined the plans of both. Or Tiamat what's and your real name? Like Cash Sling and Slash. Hakeem Nazari, which he's going to start going by sure. once all this messes over. You don't go on a suicide mission with your real name. <laughs> was, was it's excuse. also Abby Dalzim who is currently inside of a magic server. Mm-hmm. And so, and cuddle. What I would like from everybody is initiative. Uh, so they run in there. I'm going to roll run away instead. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. You could use initiative for many things. Running away is one of them. Oh, Azrak. Okay. So starting at the top. You got Moraine. That's me. Um, an angry dragon. I don't want to fight a dragon, so I'm going to run away. I'll wave at everyone down there like, bye. And there was a way, was there way, a way out up like where Osirak is? Uh, yes, that's a set of stairs up there, and there is a portal, but you need the key for it. And I think Abby currently has it. Uh, Sai's got it, right? Uh, I think Sai has or it. No, Sai has it, yeah, because he used it to... I thought he just took the monkey. Do we have all the keys? Um, you I have I took one. Three I took all the keys. Yeah, all, all I needed was the, um, oh dear god, please put your pants back on. <laughs> That's no key. Ragasha <laughs> takes off his pants as an action. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but yes, if you have the portal key, you could use it to teleport to the other side of the arena. Um, but if you don't have the portal key, it's just open and a 50 foot drop to the ground on the other side. I can't tell which way's out. Teleport it. Teleport to where? To the other side of the arena, where the other archway is on the right. Oh. Over. Yeah. Hmm. I want to get out. Wonder if I should run down this the then. Run right into Tiamat. Yeah, spoilers, it's a massive dragon. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering if you can make it a little smaller, Jeff, so that Claude can zoom in just uh, a little bit. No, he's so a that... big cinematic dragon. I, this, I like him. He's cute. I mean, she is. It's, it's all right. And the party oh, barely see everyone. Uh, I guess I'll run down. I'm just worried that Tiamat's going to then just breathe fire on all of us because she's next. But... Where did you go? Are you under Tiamat? No, I'm where I was. Okay. Now I'm down here, so that we're in a good cone uh, for her. You've got 90 I'm trying to get out. move here. away from Tiamat. Oh, that's true. <laughs> I have a lot more movement. Yeah. Because it's first round of combat. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, you're like 120, um, even, if you dash. Go, Sonic, go. Yeah, I'm dashing. That was 40. One. I'm hugging this wall. Three, four, eighty. I'm way back here. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Well, as your turn ends, Tiamat is going to... She does not have a direct line of sight to you. That is unfortunate. But she does have a direct line of sight to... Imrabashta. God damn it. <laughs> I've done nothing. I literally just walked out of you this just house. Targeted him as me. Uh, I mean, I think the tyrant god of dragons oh, sees a crown and is like, "All right, you're going down first. I'm not wearing the there crown right now. Oh, it's in my backpack. I haven't had it fixed yet. Zoom a bit more. Maybe she has title sight or something. Ooh, maybe we're gonna be best friends. Maybe. Yeah, that's definitely how this is gonna go. We're both lizards. Uh, and Roll we're D6. both royal. Oh, okay. See which head looks at you. you Ooh, I hope it's Tia Pete. Black. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh... Well, that happened. Yeah, that. that uh, wait, wait, wait. I. Well... What? I was gonna cast Absorb Elements, but I don't think it works like this. Uh, no, actually, that's exactly how it yeah. works. Mm -hmm. uh, the reaction. 
only 40. So go ahead and knock 40 off, and you can add a d6 uh, acid damage to your next melee attack. Wait, how many off? Uh, 40. 40? Half. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit, okay, cool. Yeah, let's say d1 damage. And... Oh, it's her turn. Wait, I'm trying to figure out how to do this. One sec. I'll do it. There, I did it. They got it? Okay. Yeah. I'm slightly confident. Just slightly, though. Well, none of you are in range. Um, the three of you that are close can definitely tell that um, as she's, like, rearing up out of this hole, she basically has her front uh, claws just, like, locked into the ground, and she's pretty much straining and you can see that there are just hundreds of chains that are just coming up out of the portal behind her, and they just keep, like, sinking into her flesh and trying to pull her back. And uh, she is clearly fighting it very hard to stay there. But... I don't feel sorry for her. She is going to look at you three. This time she can choose, because it's her actual turn. And I'm going to do... Uh, it's like a breath attack and not a spell. Yes, this is a breath attack. All right, let's give it some disadvantage real quick. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, just hit that button if you're a, if you're yep. a spell boy. Those dang spell boys. Oh wait, that shouldn't have done. That. Um. I don't know why I really oh, succeeded. I can't succeed anyways. Yeah, it's like literally DC twenty seven. <laughs> She is not, uh, yeah. she's not a joke. And maybe with Kasai's? Let me see if I get 20. No, I'm screwed. Um, and you already used Absorb Elements for Acid. Yeah. So. Does anybody have it for Fire that they want to use? Uh, I've resisted to Fire as a, as a Tiefling boy, so I'm good. <gasps> oh, what the hell? I oh. only take seven. Oh, my sweet Hugging Ward. I'm a Your temporary <laughs> points. I'm a Golden God. Oh, you only took seven. <laughs> Hey guys, I have seven. Run away! Um, I'm using my action to disengage. You don't need to. You're out of her melee. She can't actually use her front claws or her tail attack or anything right now. All she can really do is bite, and all of you are out of range of it. I've got to use my action to dash. Good plan. <laughs> hey, party name. <laughs> can I also use my bonus action to heal myself? Yes. Or, or drink a potion? Do I have a potion? <laughs> oh my god, yes. <laughs> I just noticed. You can turn it yeah. into more. You only, you know, hit us with 100 damage in one roll. You can turn it into something with yeah, more movement have... than you and then dash if you want as a bonus because you're a move. I don't... <laughs> I don't want to. I have a potion of acid resistance. I don't have a. How did you only get to there? I only have 30 movement, so if I dash, I only get 60. It's Unless still I... 12 squares. Uh, did I not move You only move squares? 9. You can move at least 3 more. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna heal and word myself. Okay. At level 2. Alright. Yeah, then... Don't! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Sorry, so, I need temporary hit points. <laughs> Literally. So she... Basically, straining with all of her strength to keep herself from being pulled back into this pit, correct? Yes. Okay. So what I'm going to do then is, with my bonus action, I'm going to cast Hex on her and give her disadvantage in all strength checks. Oh, nice. Okay. And there is no save for that. Yup. No helping claw. Just like, brother, help me! Hmm. Bloop. We both and then, silly. with uh, primary action, uh, we're gonna dash the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay. The mighty dash was too many. Bloop. And yeah, that's uh, that's all we're doing, because I'm not dealing with that anymore. Oh, and in, in case it needs to be said, the people that were still alive after the whole vampire in the pond thing um, are dispersing. Okay, wow. they're dispersing, because I was going to try and save loads of people. How many people are left? Um, There's probably like two or three hundred people that are all just like stampeding out of here, basically. Okay, right, so uh, they're all probably dead around here, though, after that breath attack, so... 
Oh yeah. 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 There's, can't there's a lot of here. Skeletons. Yeah. I was just trying to think of how to put up some abjuration walls and stuff to save people. All right. So, is that fifty? Twenty. Thirty. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna stay here and just cast uh, blink as an action. Okay. Put it up. And roll the d20 to see if I turn invisible. And I'm on the ethereal plane. Okay, yeah, so I'm ethereal. Can't be hit. Alright. I don't know. Nice. There's not an effect for that, but she can't hit me with breath weapons unless she's a ghost this turn. I mean, she's a goddess, but you're out of range anyway, I'm going to say. Azrak! At least, you know, out of immediate. Uh... Yeah. Range of her yeah, attacks. I mean, yeah. If her if her flames also reach every plane, then still roll on me, but should be okay. Is Asurak how you say, it, or is it, or is it Asurak? It's Asurak. Asurak. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna pop up. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty. Right, can I hang off the side of this uh, sort of uh, ledge and drop down? Absolutely. Yeah, that's. I'm not even gonna make you roll for it. That would be easy for you. All right, all right. I'm just gonna drop down all the way here, and uh, I'm gonna wait for the rest of my party. All right. Um, Steph casts Beacon of Hope on Ravasta. I don't know when. Okay. Wow, I feel so. I don't cool. know if it was before he healed himself. I'll take the healing. I think it was. I think you can was... get two more points with it. <laughs> Woo! Ooh, Heal so I'd have 117 wounds instead of 119. <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah, it's better than nothing. All right, so we're back to Moraine. Oh, did uh, oh, did Matt do any legendary actions and stuff? Or uh, she did on one of Moraine's turns. Okay. She did that first breath weapon. Um, so if I keep running this way, I can just get out, right? Uh, yes. Like, there's nothing blocking us. If I don't die, you don't get treasure, by the way. And uh, you are actually heading in the rough direction of the, uh, the ominous floating obelisk. Cool, obelisk. that's where I want to go. 10, yeah. 20, 30. I need a place to be. I'm gonna keep dashing. Alright. I'll get so, to, like, uh, here. At this point, if everybody's dashing, then we could go ahead and say that you're out of combat. Um... But I will say that uh, Abby and Kasai, because you're the the ones furthest back, um, you actually see, like she basically is just ripping at the ground trying to to keep her footing, and she actually gets one of her rear uh, claws up on there as well. But as she's like just straining against these chains, you see just hundreds more of them just come streaking out. It's just, and you can see like through the portal that there are just hundreds of chain devils. That are all just, you know, trying to bear her, and she finally falters, and the ground just like shakes and cracks, and as she tumbles down through the hole, uh, you just see this pillar of fire shoot up into the sky, and you can probably see it all over the desert, um, and it pretty much burns a hole in the storm clouds above, and uh, whenever it's all said and done, there's just a massive blackened crater where the portal was. Yeah, that was uh, that was certainly an experience. I'm gonna be saying pretty much of like prayers in that. <laughs> that uh, circle in the middle now is pretty much just a just field of volcanic glass and like skeletons and stuff. So, what do you guys want to do? Ow. Go for a drink and call it a day. <laughs> yeah, man, I, I'm really low at this point. I think we need to take a long rest. I'll be just <laughs> and just stepping away, and be like, man, I never want to get breathed on by a dragon again. That fucking that seven damage lands on. If I smack him, does it do that one d six of acid? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so where would you like to try to take a rest at? Somewhere safe. 
you feel like you could probably get away with a mansion. I if do, you have a spell slot I for it. I do have an eighth level left. I'll uh, I'll go ahead and find a quiet corner. I'll pop down a uh, Abidalzim's magnificent mansion. Okay. And let everyone but Ravastri in until he promises to not hit me with acid. I won't hit you with acid. Poison, on the other hand. <laughs> I have plenty of other. Abby's abode. So, as you are all sleeping and trancing, I would like for everybody to give me a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh my god. I forgot to do that. Is it a mind thingy? Because I have a ring of mind shielding. Uh, the ring of mind shielding will give you an advantage on that. It's wisdom, you said? Yes. Oh, if only I was good with. Oh shit, that was bad. Never mind. <laughs> Why does everyone have advantage? Just we all got rings of mind shielding. I don't have one of those. Rings of mind shielding. If... I did better than most of you anyway. I mean, as a college of whispered the bard, we're not that stupid. So. Maybe, uh, Abby. I, I am not most stupid. Of you, most of you have an alright night's sleep, though you all have kind of similar dreams. In each of your dreams, you're all standing in this massive, just, field of blackness. And, uh, it's just you and your party. And um, as you are engaging in some with some sort of battle with something that's moving through the darkness, uh, you see your party turn on you. And they basically just overwhelm you and begin actually eating. Just oh. raw cannibalism. Classic Yuanji culture. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past, past these guys. <laughs> Asrak, you will not suffer from exhaustion, but you do not gain the benefits of a long rest either. Everybody else, go ahead and give yourself your spell slots and stuff. But uh, Asrak, you can get the benefits of a short rest if you need them, uh, but it looks like you're not actually right now, so you're good. But uh, not going to uh, any of anyway. my stuff either. Yeah. So actually, I'll, I'll just go ahead and give you the long rest because you didn't. You're not. It doesn't really affect you anyway. But you did not. I almost deleted all of my max health again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, your max health should be restored. Yeah. Oh, I should really you are now that. unkillable. Congratulations. I should add it to your inventory. This is your max health. I have it written in two places. <laughs> <laughs> I should really save a spell slot for mind blank. But there's so much danger in this goddamn place. It's crazy. <sighs> so when you awaken... Um... You find that the uh, the storm clouds have parted because it's actually genuinely night, and uh, you just see the the obelisk is just floating, just occasional bursts of uh, electricity coming up from the sands and striking it, almost like it's drawing static or something. It's just silently hovering and spinning. It's, it's creepy. So can we? Uh approach it do we get like below it or we can see from a distance it's constantly sort of fluctuating and got energy coming off it um well it looks like the like the energy is coming off of it it doesn't look like it's anything super dangerous it looks like it's um legit like static electricity it's just you know erupting up out of the desert from time to time mm -hmm. um but it looks like you could conceivably fly to it but it's about 100 feet off the ground Okay. So you would have to find some, and that's just to reach like the bottom point of it. Basically, the flat part is on top. It's like an upside down pyramid. Okay. Well, if I'd known this the entire time, I would prepare fly for the. Yeah, that's totally fine. For today, I'll take off. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, right now, if anybody wants to switch out any spells or anything, feel free. Like this is the definitely the time to do so. Yeah. All right. Spells do I have? In fact, let's go ahead and take a five minute break real quick while you guys figure out what you're switching out and stuff. And uh, that way I can go and get a cup of coffee real quick. B spot would be very useful right now, right, guy? Uh, well.
And we're back yeah, with Broken World, it. the Droidog Liberation. Let's let's go and kill Salacious and not die, lads. The game. All right. So, you step out of your mansion into the the blinding darkness, and what are you going to? Do? <sighs> All right. So the looks like the only approach is to to fly up there, or the the chains it's attached to. We can sort of climb up, or there's another entrance. You could try to climb up, but you would basically be climbing up smooth walls that would be angled against you. Mm -hmm. So that's so it'll only be pretty rough. Have one person who's that done be that before. Ravashed or Asarek could probably do that. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna ask everyone who can make it up there on their own. How you doing? Okay, Kasai's good. Ravashed, can you get up there? Um. Pterodactyls or something, or. Yeah, I don't want to waste my wild shapes yet. Okay. It's just this wild shape I'm versus looking. a six level slot for me to cast fly in all of us. When you drink this potion, you gain the effect of gaseous form for one hour. Uh -huh. But that... I can't open the spell that says what it is. <laughs> gaseous form is I think that it just... does let you fly, it's just slowly. It's like bloody feet or something. Uh -huh. I'll cast fly Still on... better than nothing. Yeah, I'll cast fly on myself, Asarak, and my range with a fifth level slot then. Uh, Ravashta drinks, that becomes uh, a fog cloud. Could I just kind of fly behind him and beat my wings and make him go faster? Uh, sure. I'd let that happen. You put me in a little potion bottle. Wait, just let me, let me out. It? Just breathe them into your lungs and then fly up. Exhale. All right, I'm concentrating on fly, so... I've seen that episode, it doesn't end well. Protect me while we're <laughs> airborne, because if I go down, you all do. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you all begin to elevate. Everybody's flying in some fashion, nobody's trying to climb. I don't think anyone's climbing. Not worth it. The only person dumb enough to climb it was Rin. So... Um, you managed to get above the level of the pyramid. Um, I'll say you're still a fair distance away because I imagine you would want to see what you're dealing with. Yeah, I'm going to rush in on this. And uh, from what you can see, there seems to be absolutely nothing on top of it except for what appears to be a single pane of glass in the very center of the black stone of the pyramid. It's just set into the floor. It's like a little skylight or something. <sighs> Otherwise, it's completely devoid of features. I'm sure she's covered this place with abjuration magic to hide her uh, traps and sigils and wards, as anyone with any sense would, but I can't cast detect magic and try and find a, a gap or a opening while I'm flying, so I, one of you guys is going to have to investigate for the best opening. I'm probably going to stay here, <laughs> in fact, behind the fog cloud. You guys, you guys go and have a look, see if you can puzzle your way in there. Because I don't have an actual map for just the top of the pier. I'm just going to use the map and just put a square on it. Yeah, this fog cloud has a negative one intelligence, so I'm not investigating things. <laughs> I think you keep your mental stats. <laughs> so, you basically have this just huge square. And in the very center of it... Um... Shit. Could somebody put a square in the very center of that square? Sure, how big? Uh, just like two squares by two squares, ten by ten. Just somewhere roughly in the like middle. There, perfect. Yeah. yeah, that's perfect. So it's just completely flat, featureless stone, and then in that very center square, there is just a pane of glass. It looks like smoked glass. You can't see through. Should and we smash it? In the moonlight. Oof, I mean. Throw a rock at it. Lovely skylight. You guys get to do for yourselves around as needed. You're flying, so you can pretty much have free range. Yeah. Just... I would like my fog cloud to hover above Kasai in case I do go drop out of it. I could just dead drop away, John, right under. I'm just going to be twitching, but stay within 60 feet of everyone I can see. Just ready for a counter spell. Just kind of <laughs> jumping at shadows. <laughs> just being like ready to counter spell. Even if a shade just turns up. A bit panicky. Uh, and the square continues to slowly rotate like that. Oh, cool. We're going to 
got to get in through that glass. Uh... I can shoot it. Or stab it. Or someone who has... Well, spells. that's what I'm here for. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can... Ravashta, can you detect magic on it? Uh, I can't hear you. No. No, okay. <laughs> I think my Discord is playing up. Alright. <laughs> Damn. I was gonna say I heard her. Oh, yeah, no, it must have been me though. I didn't hear it didn't hear a word of that until he said no at the end. Oh, no. I could cast true seeing, but I kinda want some spells left for this this fight, but I guess I'm sort of easily cast uh, uh, I'm gonna cast true seeing and see if there's a this is this is all real in front of us what we're seeing, or there's a there's a way in, or it's very clearly some of it's magic or anything's invisible. Okay, so you cast true seeing, and what you see is that the pyramid itself is not there. All there is is that little black piece of glass floating in the air slope. Okay. So it's true sight, and I can notice doors hidden by magic automatically. Anything within 120 feet of me, and I can see into the ethereal plane. Is this on this plane? This, this. It seems to exist on the ethereal plane as well. Okay. I right, say so blink might not be of much use to me in this fight. Good job, I prepared that. All right, I'll uh, I'll try and show everyone. To everyone else, the pyramid is still there, and if you touch it, it feels completely solid. Um. um but. Yeah, with his true seeing, he just doesn't see the pyramid at all. Yeah. It's just this little piece I'll of glass and, just floating. I'll try and explain this to everyone and help them disbelieve it. I'll look, I'll not pass my hand through it, but I'll do like a mage hand or a prestidigitation. And I'll have it sort of dance in and out of the pyramid. It's like a solid If you thing. want, you can. Uh, you guys can roll an intelligence save with advantage. DC is pretty damn high, though. I'm not looking for this roll. <laughs> Well, actually, either intelligence save or investigation, whichever's higher. Oh, wait, I have a plus five. Never mind. And if we're clustered up, everybody gets a plus five to their intelligence save. Because, yeah, uh, paladin. Right. 24. That... Okay. So, Ravasta disbelieves. Go ahead and roll again because you get advantage. Whew. Moraine disbelieves. <laughs> Aserac does not. And Kasai does not. You see, guys, it's. it's she's. she's I'm like, wait. She's kind hold of. Hold on. As this thing keeps spinning. This is, this is some sort of portal. And... Can I, like, float downwards so that it looks like I'm stuck halfway up the thing to people who still see it? I mean. Yes. It just looks weird. <laughs> I'm like, ah! <laughs> like, why are you pushing out? <laughs> okay. What the hell's your latency? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna clip through this. It's fine. Okay, so we have to enter her lair where we will assuredly be at a massive disadvantage. But we knew this and prepared for this. This is also <laughs> gonna be on a different plane, though. So any spells you have that m might not work in here, and also the normal rules of magic and gravity and all of that might be subject to her whims. So if you guys, you know. <laughs> Prepare as much for that as you can. It, you're, you might be so heavy as soon as you step in there that your bones explode. It's going to be a ceiling battle. Uh, prepare <laughs> for the uh -huh. worst possible thing ever, and then you haven't quite prepared enough. Uh, you want to just head in there though, Moraine? I think you smash it and it will be fine. Maybe you try to interact with it first. I think Astro is going to smash it. That's right. Go, good ahead, at go ahead and things. smash this. You probably won't die. All right, I'm gonna press the button on my rod of lordly might to turn it into a battering ram. Nice. It gives a plus nice. to bonus to smashing stuff. Right. <laughs> well, they're making it. Roller, roll in athletics with plus. Roll to ram. <laughs> press X to interact. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's yeah, that's a. <laughs> That would knock down like the drawbridge of an adamantine house. Um, so yeah, you go to smash your uh, ram through it, and it does. You don't even feel any resistance from it as it shatters. However, uh, you and Gasai, because you still see the pyramid, 
you see that as the glass, the cracks go outward into the actual pyramid itself and just start racing through. Um, and neither of you, actually, um, Kasai, roll me an Arcana check. All right. You have a plus five because you're near me. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, the Arcana boys. So, Kasai, you. You recognize, like, the way that it's cracking and stuff, you recognize a couple of symbols. Uh, you're pretty sure you've seen them in, like, enemy spell books and things like that before. Um, but the entire pyramid just kind of breaks apart. And as it does so, there is a sudden flash of heat and light. And is it Dendar? Thing. Yes. It is absolutely Dendar. <sighs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Gotta go ahead and press the button to turn my ram back into a sword. Uh, yes, you can. Okay, I'll do that. Then. I was like the dodge action. <laughs> Guys, I'm so ready. I, 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 I do have one question for Asrac. Are, are you yelling, uh, bring me some Do this? Well, I'm gonna end up bringing you her head, so it matters. Okay, nobody gets that reference. I'll just go sit in my corner. <laughs> so, um, whoever is the sentient on magical much damage, the the air around you, it just everything just unravels, and as it does so, the the pyramid shatters, and you see it just kind of begin floating and drifting slowly apart, and you find yourself standing on the inner wall oh, wow. of the pyramid. This is yeah, I didn't have a I didn't have a tunnel transition prepared. So I was like, uh, draw some stuff, I guess. I don't know if you saw that on the stream. Huh. And standing opposite you in the distance. Oh boy! Delicious. I'm still missed, by the way. You this is a fun missed. map. And you will be missed after Salacious is done with you. <laughs> who, who will miss Ravashta? Oh. This is what she looks like, by the by. He has oh. this like a pet lizard at home. Oh, she's so blonde. This is a huge map. She's not ready for her to be blonde. She's a snurson. She is a snurson, you're correct. She's cute. <laughs> oh wait, this is probably a disguise self. With true seeing, does she still look like that? Um, at this range, yes she does. Oh. Oh yeah, I guess she's more than 120 feet. And uh, Jerry, if you want, you can go ahead and initiate uh, villain monologue one. <laughs> 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 I love it. All right. Well, you've come so far against ridiculous odds. Just reach me. Tell me. Have you ever gone to so much trouble to meet someone before? Yeah, yeah there actually. A, there was this guy named Phil once, and yeah, the. Oh my god. You guys take this so flippantly. <laughs> You're gonna die. Oof. <sighs> Big mood. I guess I'll, I'm gonna drop Miss Form so I can actually talk. Okay. Hello. What do you guys want to do? Um, I, uh, I'm really impressed by the setup you've got here, honestly. I, uh, I'm so Yeah, I if you'd like, a... you can make an arcana check. Yeah, I just want to be like, this is a lot of beautiful abjuration magic you got here. Well, yeah, help you. Ooh. I am an artist. These... Wow, guys! These walls, these, uh, this pyramid, this demo. Can I just save the eighteen for the rest of this fight? Is beautiful, and I. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> no, I was just gonna compliment on it uh, uh, rather a lot, and try and get as good of a look as uh, the book as I as I can if she's got it on her, and try and see if there's any sort of recurring symbols all over the place. Oh. Uh, you do not see the book, but if 
as you look closely at the floor before you, there are just millions of sigils crisscrossed in each snow. Okay. Uh, I don't recognize any as vaguely trappish or <laughs> well, um, s symbols or anything. I'm just going to make a mental note of it. I can't tell everyone else yeah. yet, though, because <laughs> that might Yeah, it, it all looks hand-carved. It looks like someone has just been inside of here just carving into the walls for mm -hmm. lord knows how long yeah I just is this. there anything written in celestial <laughs> bad but um as for your arcana checks from what you can see uh this place first of all you are pretty certain that you are on the borderline between limbo and the mental chaos um the mass of stuff below you seems to just be a storm of just constantly crashing elements of various sorts in their most purified form. It's just like fire and water and air and earth just constantly battling. Um, and you can see that there are rips in the air um, that lead to various elemental planes. There are a couple of pools that look like they lead into the elemental plane. Um, there is one that seems to lead to open sky. Actually, there's two. Uh, there are a couple that, like the more brown, earthy bits, uh, lead to earth. And uh, the green ones... Yeah, Abby, you rolled really good. Um, you can tell just from the amount of uh, just pure, vibrant life energy that you are sensing that there are uh, portals to the Feywild and... Uh, dark portals that lead to the shadow fell as well. This place just seems to be a nexus for all sorts of crazy energy. Brilliant. I am, thank you. You've <laughs> gone through a lot of ridiculousness just to come in and take a look around. No questions, comments, concerns. What even is the point of all this? Oh, that is a good question. Well, <laughs> really, all that's happening is what should have happened a long time ago. When the skies fell, the seas turned black, and the moon became shrouded in blood. This is an end, a merciful end to this folly of a world and birth of another. Vecna has shown me what will come, and what will come is inevitable. In my life, I've had all but one singular thing, choice. That's my to you now, choice. I'd like to hear what I believe your options are. Yeah, we could compare to what okay. I think they compare are. Compare and contrast. Yeah. 